This very important task was put forward by iTron, the world leader in IoT networks and smart utilities, as their iTron Smart City Challenge. The team at Instrumentation Technologies decided to take it on. After several brainstorming sessions and creative meetings, they decided on a two-step solution. Firstly, a small, highly scalable and robust device with several decades of operation lifetime will monitor the use and misuse of the life belts. Secondly, they would like to tackle the detection of the jumper as they jump from the bridge. An automated system would detect the jumper using free space optical links and notify the emergency services. to stop the misuse and create automatic warning system when the life belt is used, we employ the system that detects the presence of a life belt. As long as the life belt sits in the life belt housing, the system sends so-called keep alive message every 24 hours. If the life belt is removed, the system detects it via lever movement and high pitch sound alarm is turned on. This is meant to notify the potential vandal about the fact that the device is monitored and electronically controlled. The secondary benefit could be drawing attention in case of emergency. If the life belt is not present for 8 seconds, the emergency message is sent via the mesh network using iTron's Milli 5. The big impact of this solution is an automatic notification about the removal of the life belt and location of the incident. This shortens the response time. This means that the solution does not require any solar panels or other hardware fitted outside life belt holder. The solution is also highly scalable. The estimated production cost of the unit without the radio module is around 50 pounds in the series of 1,000 units. To tackle issues with jumpers from the bridges, we developed a prototype of the invisible optical net, which employs free space optic technologies. These are extensively used in communications. Each side of a bridge would be fitted with multiple lasers and receivers that would monitor the sides of the bridge at all times. The lasers are modulated, so the interference is more robust and less susceptible to possible light interference from other sources. The data from all receivers would be acquired and piped in the signal processing board, like Red Pitire in this case. The purpose of this system is to compare the data from the receivers and apply the patterns detected to the jumper footprints. This would ensure that objects falling or being thrown from the bridge or birds interrupting the beam would not be mistaken for a person. As soon as the system recognizes the object moving through the laser as a person, it sends the emergency message via the network. The internal FPGA allows for real-time operation. The power budget calculations show the system would be operational on bridges up to 300 metres long in the thickest of fog. A lot of effort was put into the design of the optical part to make sure the optical links are safe while still being capable of performing. The links are compliant with safety standards as they use Class 1E lasers. The system is also fitted with a battery to prevent the system from failing during power shortages. This prototype uses red lasers for ease of demonstration. However, the final system would use the infrared wavelengths and advanced optics like collimators and lenses. The solution shown will be a future of emergency response for cities around the world. We believe this challenge is a great opportunity to start the future emergency response services now.